Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bones Tech. In today's video, we are comparing the Canon T7i against the Canon T8i. So first off, both these cameras share the exact same 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor, though Canon did tweak it just a little bit in the Canon T8i to allow it to film 4K video. But because they do share the exact same sensor, we're not expecting a real increase in image quality on the Canon T8i. But later towards the end of the video, we're going to take some sample pictures on both these two cameras and put them head to head using the exact same lens in the exact same studio environment and we're going to really go in and pixel peep the images to really see which has better image quality. As far as the image processor goes, the Canon T7i features Canon's Digic 7 image processor and the Canon T8i features Canon's Digic 8 image processor. The Digic 8 image processor is a little bit more power efficient and because of that we are going to get 800 shots on the T8i and here on the T7i we're only going to get 700 so there's quite a big difference right there. Also the Digi8 image processor allows the Canon T8i to film 4K video at 24 frames per second. But when filming in 4K video on the T8i, you have a 1.6 times crop factor to deal with, which makes things very annoying and, and just not very good. And also the 4K video on the T8i suffers from very severe rolling shutter issues, which makes the 4K video on this camera almost unusable for fast and action photography. It's just gonna really move around. And I did do a full video test on the Canon T8i where I demonstrate the rolling shutter in 1080p and also in 4K. And if you guys want to check out my full video test of this camera or of the Canon T7i, I have a link right here where you guys can click and check that out. But that being said, the actual video quality of the T8i when filming 4K video is very sharp and very good it just has ton of rolling shutter like I said and that kind of makes the video a little bit unusable but when it comes to 1080p video that's a completely different story for both these two cameras these are both very capable for 1080p video they can film 1080p at 24 30 and 60 frames per second all while using their dual pixel autofocusing system which is an extremely powerful system and many professionals think that Canon's dual pixel autofocusing is the best in the business by far now as far as ISO goes both these cameras have an ISO range of ISO 100 all the way to ISO 25600 with an extendable ISO that I don't recommend using but it is there of ISO 21200. The Canon T7i can shoot 6 frames per second and the T8i can shoot 7.5 frames per second and that extra FPS makes a big difference when shooting sports photography or any action photography. I think it's going to give you like 15% more chance of getting that perfect photo here on the T8i. Both these cameras have flip out touch tilt screens which are very nice, but the T7i's is just a little bit more chunky than the T8i's. The T8i's looks a little bit more modern and sleek, but as far as the actual screen quality goes and responsiveness to touchscreen, both are the exact same, which just looks a little bit better on the T8i. As far as the buttons and controls go, both are very similar on these two cameras. The biggest difference is the addition of an aperture wheel on the Canon T8i. So here we can actually adjust the aperture by using this wheel, and that is so nice, and that's a feature that's usually seen on more professional cameras like the Canon ADD. To be fair, this wheel is very small and it's very big on the Canon ADD, but I am glad it's here. It makes changing the aperture much easier. You can just move that dial really quickly. Where on the Canon T7i, you have to press and hold down the AV button while adjusting the shutter speed dial. It just makes it a lot easier with a wheel. Also, another really big difference is the mode dials. Here on top of the Canon T7i, we have a ton of different modes here on the mode dial. And here on the Canon T8i, we have significantly less modes on the mode dial. And the reason for that is a lot of the modes found on the T7i are actually hidden. So the Canon T7i has modes like uh, landscape mode, macro, sport mode, all built into the dial. Now they are available here in the T8i, but you first have to put this camera over to a special scene selection mode. And from there we can go ahead and actually change the camera. And there actually is even way more options than there was found on the Canon T8i, but it does require one extra step. That means you can't be looking down the viewfinder and quickly switch to sport mode. You're gonna first have to go in, look at the screen, and then move down with the touch screen all the way to the sports mode. It makes things a little bit more complicated, but it also does uh, clear up the clutter here on the mode dial so there's
there's pros and cons to both. The Canon T7i has an automatic flash, so if the photo requires a flash, it's just going to automatically pop up just like this. Where on the T8i, if your photo requires a flash, it's gonna say, hey, please open up the flash, and you have to do that by just lifting it up. It's super easy and very simple, but it's not automatic here on the T8i. You have to physically open it up and close it, which is definitely interesting. Both these two cameras have the exact same LPE17 battery, so if you're selling your Canon T6i or Canon T7i and upgrading to the T8i, all the old batteries that you have will work perfectly with the T8i. Both the T7i and the T8i are made in Japan, which is very nice. Both these two cameras feature Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you can easily connect them to your smartphone. And they also both have a 45 cross point autofocusing system, which is very advanced and is very good. As far as weight goes, the T7i is a little bit heavier, coming in at 532 grams, and the T8i only weighs 515 grams, but really that's not a big difference at all. Now as far as inputs go, both these cameras are the exact same. I was hoping we'd have a uh, USB-C here on the T8i, but unfortunately we're still stuck with USB mini, which is definitely unfortunate. I do, however, really like that both the cameras have their SD card slots located here on the sides of the camera. It makes changing the SD card out super easy, especially if the camera is on a tripod. But that's about it for all the differences, and I think the last thing we gotta talk about is the price. The Canon T7i can be had for around $550 to $600 on Amazon, and the Canon T8i costs $700 $150. So we're looking at a $150 to $200 price difference between these two cameras. And again, if you're just filming photography and probably even video, you're probably just going to want to stick to the Canon T7i. The T8i is overall a better camera and has all features that the Canon T7i has and it actually adds to it, but I really don't think it's worth that extra uh, 150 to $200. With that extra money, I would recommend picking up a better lens than the kit lens, spending a couple extra hundred dollars towards your lens, or maybe buying a prime lens like Canon's 24mm f2.8 lens, or maybe Canon's 50mm f1.8 lens. I think having access to a 24mm f2.8 lens or a 50mm f1.8 lens is going to make a much bigger difference on your photography than the little differences that we have between these actual two bodies. This 24mm f2.8 lens wide open allows double the light to come into our camera sensor than our 18 to 55mm lens. That's going to make a much bigger difference as far as actual image quality goes than the differences between these two cameras. But okay, now it's time to get to the actual head to head of these two cameras where we compare the actual image quality and we go in and we pixel beep. So let's check that out. Okay, so here are our first two sample pictures. The photo here to the left was taken with the Canon T7i, and then the photo over here to the right was taken with the Canon T8i. So settings that I used for this picture were one 100th of a second shutter speed at f2.8, and the ISO that we used was ISO 400 for both these two pictures. Again, we have the T7i here to the left and the Canon T8i here to the right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in here and check for sharpness. And here we can see that both are very, very similar as far as sharpness goes. There really isn't too much more detail in one than there is the other. I will note that I did manu focus both these pictures as best as I could. I figured that me manu focusing is gonna be a little bit more accurate than the camera autofocusing is. But here we can see the detail and the quality is very similar. Now let's zoom in even more here and we'll take a look here at the noise. And here we can see that as far as the noise goes, both these cameras are very similar. There really isn't a big difference. Maybe the T8i handles noise just a little bit better here, but it is very, very hard to tell. Both these two cameras have a very high megapixel count, and that's why we can see all this detail in close-up uh, detail on this camera here. But I think overall, both these cameras are extremely sharp. As you guys can see, they're a little bit not quite lined up. I tried to line them up as best as I possibly could, but you can see I messed up the framing here just a little bit, so keep that in mind. This isn't a completely uh, you know, scientific uh, results here. Uh, but again, as far as the details here, both these pictures look very, very sharp and very good. And again, this is at ISO 400. But let's go ahead and see how these two cameras do when shooting at their max ISOs. All right, so here we can see things got much more noisy and that's because we're using our max ISO of both these cameras, or I should say the max non-extended ISO. So we shot these at ISO 25,600 and our exposure was one four thousandth of a second, extremely fast to compensate for that extremely fast ISO. And we shot these wide open at f2.8 like we did 
the original ones. And let's go ahead and zoom in here and check for noise. So zooming in here, we can see, wow, the Canon T8i actually has much better noise performance than the Canon T7i. So the Canon T7i, remember, is over here to the left and the Canon T8i is over here to the right. And here we can see a huge difference in overall sharpness. I'll zoom in even more here and we can definitely tell that the Canon T8i is much sharper than the Canon T7i. I actually wasn't expecting this because they're using the same sensor, but I guess Canon's Digic 8 image processor allows the Canon T8i to get much better low light photos than the T7i. And actually I'd say this is about a stop of difference. If we zoom in here and take a look at the uh, glass here, we can see again the Canon T8i is so much sharper than the Canon T7i. And if we go ahead and zoom into the viewfinder here, again we can see that the Canon T8i is just so much sharper than the Canon T7i. I am very shocked at this and I am very impressed that Ken was able to a pull much better image quality in low light on the Canon T8i. So basically what this means is if you're shooting a lot of low light photography, you might actually want to pick up the Canon T8i, but if you're shooting at ISOs of, you know, 1600 or lower, there's really not going to be a big difference as far as image quality goes. They are both very, very similar. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And I'm very interested, what camera do you guys have or what camera do you guys think you're going to pick up? You're gonna get the T7i, or do you think you're gonna go ahead and pick up the T8i. I'm very interested though, so leave that in the comment section down below. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.